So here it is guys, the big double header that will decide whether or not we make it into the playoffs. Sort of. What's up guys, Chasing Lemon here with episode number 17 of Living the Dream and in today's episode we're going to be playing York in the first of a double header before we play Geisley in the second half. You can see they're both above us but we're also now sitting one point away from the playoffs. If we can beat both of them we should sneak into the playoffs and then it's just a case of maintaining it through the Blythe game to the last ep well, to the last episode of this season, which will be the Darlington game. The last game we played, the only game we played in between, is this game against Gloucester. We won 5-4, bit of a thriller. Nico Jones, Jason Porter with a brace, Cahill getting a goal, and Yalsin getting a goal. We were, at one stage, very far in the league. We were 5-1 up, and then uh, squeaky bum time because they got three goals, and I was slightly panicking. But we've managed to pull it off. We've managed to pull off the victory. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe at this point, because... Big things are coming, big things are coming, I promise thee. Looking at the team selection, I've got a lot of injuries. There's a big injury crisis. The injury list is immense. So I'm having to start with a, a bit of a makeshift side. I've got Alex O'Meara in goal, Barton, Baxter, Jones and Halem, our usual back four, give or take. They all, they're all in there, that's fine. Then we've got Shelley Hutchinson, who is a 14-year-old from the youth system. He's genuinely the best option I have because of injuries to people like KMB. Well, KMB is just not fit. Uh, Mackay is playing alongside him with Brady, Cahill and Porter up top. So it's just the midfield that's a bit weak and we usually bypass that. It's a lot of very quick football. McCormick, James, Watson, Bruce and Emery make up the bench. So let's see what we can do. See if we can get ourselves a victory today and then that should fire us nicely, nicely into the next phase of things. So into the dressing room and I think I'm going to stray from the advice we're being given. I think... I think we're going to do a recent form standings thing. Cahill seems demotivated, which is probably means it's not worked. But it's fine. We've still got 90 minutes to play, and we'll see if we can get a result out of this somehow. Early corner, actually, straight away. And Mackay has played it to Hutchinson. Hutchinson back to Mackay into Barton. Can Barton do something? Back to Mackay to Barton. Barton's a pop. Brady is there. Kyle Brady is there. 1-0. Under a minute played. And maybe... Maybe this little makeshift side of mine has got more to offer than I thought. I genuinely thought we could be in for a drubbing today, but we've we've survived it so far, so that's all good. I mean, it's only a minute play. We could still concede 23 goals quite easily, but we're leading for now, and that's what we needed, the, just a good, solid start. It's a good, solid start. It's been followed by 40 minutes of nothing, and now we're, we could be in trouble. Oh, no, we're not in trouble. We, we may not be in trouble. Porter is on the ball. Can Jason Porter go it alone and double our lead? We need a hero. Oh, it's off the post and Flatters picks it up. And now they're going to hit us on the counter unless we can do something special here. Shelley to Mackay. Nothing special incoming. And that's half time. But the good news is that we lead one at the break. It may not have been the most exciting first half, but I will settle for a boring 1-0 draw. Certainly from my point of view. I know it's not going to make the best first game of the episode, but luckily it's a double header. Throw in for York. Now, I've made a couple of subs. I sent on Watson already for Mackay, and I'm just waiting for Shelley to be replaced by Bruce. Hopefully, we won't concede here. Of course, we did. Of course, we conceded there. That was absolutely the time we were going to concede when I started talking about how things were going well. Because it can't happen when things are going, you know, badly. It always happens when things are going well. You start talking about it. And you can see the goal. When things are going badly and you talk about how badly they're going, you never score a goal. No one knows why. One of the mysteries of FM. Free kick for us, though. Barton puts it over the top. Jones is there. Heads it towards Porter. Jason Porter with his 36th goal of the season. And we are back in the lead. And we just need to hold on for dear life right now. And if we can hold on for dear life, we might just have a chance of achieving something. Just realised that a substitution didn't take, so we'll do that now. We'll send Bruce on just because Shelley is so tired. Right, free kick for York. McLaughlin's played it to Old Acre. We're in the dying embers of the game now. We just need to hold on. Just need to hold on. Potts is through. Luckily, it's been disallowed for offside, which is just the luck I need, really, because it's a miracle we've held on this long with a team of players who've just not played together ever. Bruce hasn't played in a while. Hutchinson's making his debut. This midfield combination has never been used before. So Telford are currently winning 7-1. 
and somehow miraculously we've held on to the 2-1 win. I think Telford also finished 7-1 for those who were curious. Played magnificently and we are we are in the playoff places now. I think this result puts us seventh. We'll get a confirmation of that in just a second. Oh, confirmation we're in sixth, even better. We're going to skip the next game against Alfred and I'll come back in a second. We'll play Geisley and we will see if we can maybe, just maybe, cement our position in the playoffs. So we're back for the second game of this double header. You've missed the Alfreton game. We won one nil. Yelsin scored, and that's all you literally need to know about that. So let's get into this game. I'll show you the team selection that I've gone with there. I've got some. I've got a full strength team, pretty much for the first time in ages. So Omer starts. Barton, Baxter, Jones, Halem, Yelsin, Hardy, Kayembe, and Summers. Torrent and Porter up top. Torrent, Summers, and Hardy won't finish the game, but that's fine. That's future problems. McCormick, Moody, Mackay. Cahill and James on the bench and I'm hoping we can get a performance out of this team because I really don't want to use Liam Mackay he's not been at the races lately and I need him to focus to be quite honest because I've not got anyone I can replace him with into the dressing room good run of form lately go and impress me nobody cares so we'll have to try and encourage them from down here and see if that gets a performance happening because that'll be really nice Free kick for Geisley, Kellett to take it, Molden's there over the bar and we've survived. That's the first time out of the game as well, it's been really dull so far. The throw in for Geisley, it's another throw in, it's the first throw in. Nicholson to Kellett, to Chadwick, ball over the top to Gillen, this is going to be a goal, you can see it already. Oh, we've managed to survive, Jones getting it clear, only as far as Brandy. The goal might come yet, we might even get the goal, Summers is on the ball. Can he find someone useful? He can't. And Bradley Summers has picked up another injury, which is not what we were looking for in the slightest. Who's going to come off at half time anyway, but he's going to be out for probably the rest of the season now, knowing my luck. So Molden to Brandy. Brandy, what can he do? Haler makes a tackle, which is nice to see. At least one of our defenders has heard of a tackle. Doesn't really do much because Gillum gets a shot and he's offside anyway. So Alex Omer's Hollywood save was for nothing. And Bradley Summers, unfortunately, has not survived the first half. He will be gone for the rest of the season, I'm sure. We'll just send on Gavin Moody, hope he can make some kind of impact. The wing is not really the place for him. And that's the end of the first half. It's been incredibly uneventful, apart from the injury. We've been the better team. Go and do something. In fact, you know what? It's time to keep working hard, because they need to work hard and get things done. Because many of them are not working hard. Throw in for Halem. Can he get this to someone useful? He's looking for Porter, doesn't find him. Halem has the ball back, goes in for a cross. Yalsin heads it down, Kayembe is there. Halem has it. Can he put the ball to anyone? Anyone? Oh. Gavin Moody absolutely wastes the chance. Throw in for Geisley. Let's get the ball quick. Chadwick has gone. I don't know why he keeps saying let's get the ball quick. Like, we all know our defence is completely useless. And I don't expect them to tackle at all. I just expect them to let the opposition do whatever they want with it quite frankly, so I think we've got to this position more through luck than ability. But throw in for guys, we need to get this ball quickly and we need to get it up the field. I've made all the subs, Barton's got it clear, I've yelled at everyone who's, who you can see has been completely useless. Can Cahill do something for me here? Anything at all. Penalty or do me, it's not going to be a penalty and it's gone to nothing. And that's a nil-nil draw, completely waste of time. The guys I've excited to have back did nothing to help me at all. You're unlucky today. They weren't. They were just useless. <laughs> they were just useless is what happened there. But let's pretend they were unlucky because it will make them feel better about how useless they were. We are still in the playoffs though, so things are not looking too shabby. We'll survive at least. Hopefully we've got ourselves at least into the playoffs. We're secure and hopefully that will work out okay for us. We have got to play Blythe off camera. They will come back for Darlington in the next episode. Looking at the table, the six points left to play for, which could leave us anywhere from about 12th to 4th. 12th to 4th is what it could leave us, which is beautiful. But let's wrap the episode up there, guys, because I feel like, I feel like it's been an emotional one. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I've been Chasing Lamely. You can find me on the socials below. I'm on Insta, on Twitter, Insta, and Patreon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Magic Graphic will appear there. And until next time, guys, I've been Chasing Lamely. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.